thing here. Giant, giant. Just doing a wee um, hive combine this evening. This is um, 18th of August, I think. Let's just check. 17th of August. Um, and not bad a day out. Uh, so late in the season, and really what I'm doing, a lot of my work in, in, in autumn in Scotland is getting these bees ready for winter. So I've got a lot of Nux, which is little baby hives, and I really prefer them to be jam-packed as they go into winter um, uh, with bees. I don't like them being on three frames or even four frames. I like them to be on the full six frames by the end of August. Um, and I find that they winter better. So, um, if you remember from my story, I had a little um, a, a, a resource hive. This is my um, apiary that I keep. I, I breed everything here. I have nuts, and I look in them regularly. I grow them, and I usually keep one or two um, resource hives, full hives um, that I rob and pillage all year round. Um, my resource hive this year was incredible. I just had one and I robbed, kept robbing brood. Queen just kept on laying the brood up. Um, normally I find that the resource hives get tired um, and you kind of have to abandon them at some point and just say, I'm going to leave them to grow and, and, and requeen them. But I haven't requeened this one. I've just been robbing. It seems to be I could take whatever I like from it and it would recover. Um, it's, it's pretty insane. Here it is here actually, it's got two supers on it which are almost full. So it's made, it's even made honey this year, um, which is just incredible. But here is the, what, what I took off. Now it was, the top box was just completely capped brood. Um, so I took them off and I put the supers on it. All of the nurse bees from the supers go down into the brood box once the workers have gone. Um, so there's actually a lot of bees in there. It's a lot of resource that I've just harvested. Um, and what I'm going to do with that, I know it's queenless, I've went in and I've destroyed all of the queen cells. Now what I could do, if this was a gloriously sunny evening, there's a bit of sun about, but it's, it's getting cold rather quick, is I could distribute every single one of those um, brood frames with bees on. I could literally place them um, inside all of the baby hives and give them all a brood. Um, yes, with the bees on, they may fight, but I tend to find that queenless, um, they're all young bees, just hatching, they're queenless. Uh, I usually find that they um, are absolutely fine. Um, they just, you know, as long as you don't put three or four frames in and then you've essentially got two hives suddenly thrust together. But when a handful of bees find themselves in a hive, they just kind of, you know, maybe have a little tissel and then they get on with it. Well, you know, a puff of smoke helps them. Um, but what I'm going to do instead is a hive combine. So this is what this video is about. A hive combine. Um, late at night, we're going to make it nice and easy. So we've got a full hive here. It's got a roof, floor, brood box, frames. I'm going to take the roof off it. And I'm going to put a fresh, empty brood box on top, which you can see down there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the frames out of um, a hive that's doing quite well, a little nut that's doing quite well, and I'm going to just fill up the space um, with empty frames. And then I'm going to, uh, sorry, between those brood boxes is going to be a sheet of paper, um, and I'm going to put the roof on them and, and just leave them for a few days. Uh, and we'll find that they'll combine. And in the next couple of weeks, I will get them down to one brood box and it will be a jam-packed hive um, ready to go for winter. Um, so I've instantly converted a hive um, that is on three frames of brood. So really may not make it through the winter, but I'll instantly promote them into a full hive. Um, so uh, let's see how we got on with that. This is what we're giving, really. You could see complete frames. I mean, you actually see there, I don't know if you can see hatching, hatching bees um, chewing through. So, you know, there's a lot of bees in here. Um, they're all capped, they're all hatching. I'm just having a final check for queen cells. Um, and, you know, a great resource, really. 
mean, one of the wise things to do really, I think I will harvest just a couple of, a few of these frames to give space. No, I, I maybe won't. No, we'll just give it all and it will be a good, a good jam-packed hive. But yep, that's what we're giving. Not, I don't like blue so much, but that's this year's colour. Um, we're just halfway through the transfer. Always nice to see, there she is again, always nice to see Queenie. Um, we're getting on. I'm really sure this guy is intended to be in my workshop. Hey, Mr. Man. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to attempt to try and find, try and help it out because I don't know what it's been eating or it's been maybe eating bees anything. Let's see what they do, what it does. Meant to curl up into a ball, aren't they? Oh, they bite. Oh, there we go. Very muddy. Muddy and wet. I think it's just come in here for some refuge. Hey, Mr. Little Hedgehog. Very cute. Let's see if we can. Oh, don't turn around. Hop on outside. Oh, don't fall over, mister. Not to move. Oh, there you go. There you go. And he's gone. I'm just done a wee hive transfer, and unfortunately, um, uh, uh, the queen flew on me. I basically um, was going through the fl frames. As you can see, it's getting quite dark as well, so I'm just trying to get it done. And didn't see queen. And it's relatively safe. To assume you've missed her, she's been on a frame. I wasn't looking particularly uh, well for her, except I had a wee final check of the box, and I saw her, or at least I thought I saw her, and then she flew away. And I thought maybe it was just a normal bee, um, but normally your eyes don't deceive you. And anyways, I've just there was a wee clump of bees near where the hive was, and look who was on it was little. Her Majesty. Just this, you know, I'm a Christian, I believe in God, um, and I've been praying for this business, um, this bee venture, regularly, that God would bless me. And it's little things like this that some people might call coincidence, but I just think that, you know, God is really blessing me, and God just really gave me a kiss in that moment. That doesn't mean to say that I won't have a disaster um, next week, but at least when I do have, I can remember that God is um, guiding me through. And if I listen, keep my ears open, um, then he'll hopefully help me spot little things like that that'll keep me going. This is the hive here that I've transferred. They came out of that box over there. You can see that the bees are a little bit, they're a little bit kind of, they're not quite settled down. Um, because they can tell within minutes that they're queenless. So, yeah, I am going to mark her. She's been marked before, but what happens sometimes is that the bees rub it off. So I'm going to find my pen. Oh, it's in my pocket the whole time. Just going to put a blob. And these these things are really great because um, they've got a little they're quite expensive they're, they're they're maybe like six quid which in terms of a little bit of plastic is maybe quite a lot but the the push valve there doesn't can't go far enough to kill queen um so you know she's quite good so you wait until she's facing right now she's facing the wrong way you try and squish her up against the plastic that's perfect there her body's along um, I just put the pen lid down. The body's along. Now all I need to do is grab. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do it facing the camera because I'm gonna look. But basically, you can see. I'm just gonna put a blob of paint about there. Um, and it's, she's not in pain. All these vegans who say 
you know, that's a terrible thing that we paint queens. She's not worried. And it actually means, the reason I paint her is predominantly so when I'm going through the hive and she's on a frame, you know, that was it, it's painless. You know, she's perfectly fine now, walking around. She's got a green dot. Um, the colour this year is blue, but green is what I have on me, so that's what she's got. If you can see that. She's now got a... It's not really focused in there, but she's now got a green dot on the back. So, yeah, when I'm looking through a hive and I see Queenie, Her Majesty, then actually I want to be sure that I'm not going to squish her. Um, and yes, sorry vegans, um, one or two bees do get um, squished often when you're manipulating hives. But there's 30,000 of them. And in the day-to-day the -day running of a hive, um, minimum 300 die per day. Um, so, you know, these are the stats, you know, thousands can die on the, on, on the peaks, on a peak summer day. They die out foraging on honey, every time it rains they die because they don't get home. Um, you know, and for us to sit and worry about one or two bees, really what we should be worrying about is the entire colony. And actually, by me going in, making sure they're fed, making sure they've got everything they need, then um, actually I'm doing a great thing and I'm going to save thousands of bees. Um, these bees right now are not happy because they they want their they want their mummy. Let's give her back. So obviously, I can't, you know, got gloves on. They're not the most easy things to work, but this is what I find is a great way uh, with this thing. Now, the one thing I have done is I've killed the queen because her head was the wrong side of this, and as I, you draw that back. She's of course going to get trapped at the end of it, so it's a good position. I can open it there and I can place it just like that. And you can't see that, but she's actually heading down already. I don't, she's, she's down, she's gone down the hole. I don't know if you saw that or not, but she doesn't like light. So normally, normally she heads on down when you do that. And now I know she's in there. There you go, it's this this is updating my record, this is transferred. Um, 20th of a that says QF which means Queen Flu question mark. No, exclamation mark really. So I can actually say um you cross that off and your job done. Um, I can put Queen QR instead, which is Queen right. Job done. You can smell it, you can smell it. There's nothing about the wasp traps, you get them in nice and early. Um, you can see today, this one is getting more and more. Unfortunately, they also water down because the water goes down the hole, but this is a cracking way. It's started to work. First sunny spell in a few days. This is what you get, absolute pandemonium. Roaring. Every single hive. Look at this, love the big sunflower. It's gonna produce a lot of seeds. That was the last chance to get basically problems, any any queens that are not laying. I can um combine hives and make sure there's a laying queen. Um I've got possibly one queen actually in a a, a, a pidia here that um might be um ready to lay. It's also, it's only towards the end of August, so I can actually start feeding some highs to make sure that they get, um, they can grow actually a little bit more um, and, and fill out some frames of honey for, well, sugar syrup for winter. So, bunch of jobs today, more than I have time for, so we'll see how much we get done. Yeah. Sorry, Johnny. 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 Johnny.